Hey, what's up guys? It's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode here in my 1.14 Let's Play Vanilla Minecraft single player world. Welcome to this video, you guys. So excited to have you here. I hope you're all having a very good day today. Very beautiful day. Uh, today in Minecraft, we are going to get up to something very strange. Uh, it might not make, well, it, mm, it, it's normal, but like the way I'm approaching it is strange. I'll explain it here in a little bit. But as always, we do have a couple things that I want to talk about starting out in this this episode. So first things first, let's flip around, get started. A little update on the village. Things are going pretty well. Um, ever since last episode when we kind of built our wall, things have been better. There are a couple dark spots though, and we lost a villager you guys we lost one of our important villagers and that is our librarian i cannot find him anywhere now the weird thing is he actually might still be alive somewhere but i'm just not sure of where his whereabouts are so um yeah i don't know where he is but he is currently lost the sun is going down we'll have to sleep in just a second uh, but aside from that there's a couple things i want to show you guys in the morning time uh once once we wake up after we sleep basically all right good morning guys so we are good to go i can head over and show you exactly what i wanted to show you now the first destination we're going to is actually over near our portal because i found something uh i was kind of you know we have that big mine shaft and i was kind of looking down there just kind of taking a peek around and I found something super exciting. Well, sort of exciting, sort of sort of infuriating at the same time. I'll explain it here in just a second uh, once we go down this ladder. If you guys didn't know, if you haven't checked out the previous episodes or haven't, you know, caught up with the series yet, there is a big mine shaft. This goes over to our portal. This is the rickety bridge that we made in a previous episode. It's pretty awesome. Well, at least I like it. Um, but down there, there's a little mine shaft and I decided to go Go down there just take a peek around and see what was down there and i found myself a couple of spawners actually a few spawners and i just thought i would kind of mention this we're not going to be working on this in today's episode but uh it's pretty exciting and it's something that i do want to get going in the future so if we take a look there boom spider spawner number one and then if we flip around boom spider spawner number two with a cat there's a cat down there actually which cat is this i think this is uh this is an unnamed cat yeah i was thinking i did name my cats you guys uh, and thank you guys for your suggestions on cat names as well but yeah that cat's chilling i should probably um have him come back up with me so we have one spawner here we have one spawner there so super close we can make a double spider spawner and then you guys, if we head over here, bam, <laughs> a third poison spider spawner, a third one. Now, the thing is, these aren't actually close enough, I don't think, for me to trigger all of them at the same time, which is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, we can't even, from this point here, we can't even trigger that one. So there's no way for us to trigger all of these at the same time. It would have been great if we could have, have could have had a triple spider spawner, but it's just not something that's gonna happen, is it? Now, the next destination is kind of far away, so I am actually just going to walk there and I'll meet you guys over there in just a second. So for the next thing I have to show you guys, we are actually heading down into my OG strip mine. This is the first strip mine I made in the world, and uh, it definitely needs some sprucing up. I gotta work with this a little bit, but I was kind of gonna branch off here at, at one point, and I kind of turned on the subtitles. You guys know how you can have subtitles in the game. Um, they pop up on the screen. I don't have them active normally because uh, I, I th in my opinion they can be a little distracting at least for me from like recording but I was just I heard a bunch of zombie groans like a bunch of zombie groans when I was down here and I was like hmm maybe I should go and investigate so I kind of like wiggled my way around until I got close to this guy and I knew I heard a bunch of zombies and I was like, there's gotta be a spawner nearby. So I found this, I did empty it out and I actually have a clip of me taking this on. So I'm gonna insert that here so that you guys can see it. Thank you. 
um, but we also now have a zombie spawner which is really great because now we have one of each well we don't have a regular spider spawner but that's okay because i think you can get everything the same from big spiders and little spiders so we pretty much have every hostile mob farm oh my god that cat's oh my god oh, this cat just scared the crap out of me i don't know i thought it was a zombie or a creeper or something you just scared the pants off me you really are a siamese nightmare aren't you but i think that's it for the updates in today's video now what we're gonna do is something again as i expressed earlier a little weird it's gonna get weird today in this episode you guys but i'm i'm excited for it so i've been doing a little bit of town planning and behind the scenes you guys have no idea how much i think about this world and how much i think about minecraft but i've been thinking about what i want to do with our town and the direction i want to go and i started planning things out so this area i think is going to be our little like town center so we'll kind of have maybe a fountain or a statue or something right here that marks the town center and then of course we'll have have to move the bells because this is our current town center and i think it's a little underwhelming if i'm being completely honest so i do want to redo this and make something cool next is this this is what we're going to work on today this is the villager compatibility research center and family affairs facility now uh, that is basically a very long and fancy way of saying villager breeder <laughs> so today we're going to be working on not like an automatic villager breeder but we're going to try to like play around with villager breeding and villager occupations and to explain this villager compatibility research center is like like you know villager compatibility like how they like if, if they're feeling each other you know if they want to make babies and then once they make babies those babies grow up and that is their family affairs like what they what their family lineage leads to to like what their occupations become things like that so i just wanted like a long fancy title for that but let's take out our blocks and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this research facility although it's gonna be a little bit underwhelming right now we're going to build it up later but for right now it's basically just gonna be a box so i'm just using white concrete for this again we kind of want a lot of villagers to be able to fit in here uh let's take this torch out i do need to go through and actually retorch this village because we are getting spawns in it, which makes me a little nervous, which is also another reason why I wanted to make this facility is so that my villager is a little bit more protected and I can kind of monitor how many villagers we have in the village and how many are breeding and making babies and things like that. So that's why I wanted to keep them in sort of like a room. Wow, it looks like we're not going to have enough white concrete. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> I guess not. All right, so we're going to come along with glass uh just to kind of mark this off a little bit just so they have like a little bit of a view into the world and again this isn't going to look very pretty right now uh it's just going to serve as function one layer of glass down now let's make another layer and it looks like i'm gonna have to sleep and also gather up some more materials so i'm gonna do that really quickly you guys and i'll be right back with you and we'll continue building this box so i wanted to explain to you guys what gave me this idea to focus on this in today's episode so not only was i missing our villager our librarian friend that has currently gone missing i have no idea where his whereabouts are as i mentioned earlier uh, but basically it was him and the idea that i want to get myself a new mending or a, not a new mending villager well yes i do want a mending villager but i want new librarian villagers and potentially a mending villager because as you guys know in the last episode we built our afk fish farm which is right there um i like okay i have a love-hate relationship with afk fishing and the thing about afk fish farms is they take forever <laughs> to give you resources because you've got an afk you've got to you know have your player just stand there and click and i don't know i just was kind of getting to the point where i think i want a, a mending villager because it's going to be a lot more consistent it's going to be i cannot jump up this okay ready go oh, okay got it um it was getting to the point where i was kind of just over it and i was like i think i afk for I think I did like three hours total, which isn't a lot. I know people spend a lot more time AFK fishing, um, but I spent like 
I don't know, three or four hours AFK fishing and I didn't get mending at all. And I was just like, eh, this kind of takes forever. And having a mending villager would be so nice to have just that instant gratification of being able to say, hey, I want mending right now and you have mending. So that's what I wanted to do. Okay guys, so I built up the box and it took way more white concrete than I expected, which was kind of weird. This is going to be our room where we put all of our villagers so we can keep them safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all their workstations and watch this guy. This is Winslet, by the way. Hello, Winslet. Um, I'm hoping that by getting rid of this barrel, he'll turn back into a brown coat. This isn't going well. Oh, wait. No, he's still a novice. I think if they're not... If they're higher than a novice, I don't think they can change their occupation. I'm, I'm just going to go off a hunch that if I put their workstations in here, then they'll all want to come in there. Is kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh, 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 I thought he turned into a brown coat. I got so excited. He didn't. Wait, is he going in there? Wow, yes. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. So now that they have this occupation, they'll go, you know, when they have their work time. Oh, look, we got two of them in here. During their work hours, they will actually go and stand next to their, their whatever it is that makes it their occupation or whatever it may be. So Winslet is chilling in here. Uh, so let's see. Oh, also, we're going to want to remove all of the beds because then we want to move the beds inside i think i took yeah there's no beds anywhere over here okay so then this thing we're gonna want to take away we do have a stone mason so if we go and put the stone cutter in here then the stone mason mason should come inside so let's get rid of this door so that they can all come in and we'll just line these up right next to each other okay bob the baker's chilling he keeps coming inside too all right now let's go and remove all of the beds Okay, so there's a bed there. I think there's a bed in here. We want to take all of these out. Let's put these beds down so we can get more villagers in here. Now, I'm going to try to corral all the villagers in here. I'm going to try to get all their workstations in here. And I'll be right back with you guys. This is probably going to be pretty tedious. But if anything exciting happens, of course, I'll come back with you. So this is going to be kind of an interesting moment of truth. I moved a lot of the beds into here. And I'm curious if they'll find them and sleep in them kind of knows what's up winslet is like oh wait this isn't winslet <gasps> look at that wait they're actually going in here <laughs> it's like a sleepover it's like a sleepaway camp now where are other villagers because they didn't i think they found other beds yeah this guy's chilling in here so we need to get rid of all the beds this is gonna be so funny we're gonna have a villager sleepover oh this is so epic it's like a big villager sleeping room excuse me what are you all doing what the heck so i was like where did all my villagers go i was looking around and i couldn't find them anywhere and they're right here they're just all stacked up on this ladder but check this out it seems like they're all kind of coming over and finding their workstations hopefully it looks like we've got three guys in here at least which is a pretty good start i think once nighttime comes and they all sleep now that i've got all the beds in here then that will be a little bit better but i'll come back with you guys during the nighttime and see if they actually all corral in here and they all find these beds all right guys so check it out we officially have a villager slumber party going down and um this is awesome so i got all of our guys in here not all of them are named but they're pretty much just chilling we've got five villagers right now we had six uh so let's see how many we had the librarian two clerics this was an extra block i made the stonemason where is the stonemason that means we actually have six villagers uh, and then this guy goes with the fisherman, and this is one of the farmers, but we have two farmers. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm a little confused. Um, but these guys will work, so I'm gonna keep them in here, and I'm gonna breed them up. And what I might even try to do is change all of their occupations, or at least the ones that we can change, into librarians, just to see what kind of librarian trades they can get. So we want them all to become librarians. So will they all just, you know, make the switch? Or is that something that we have to manually, we have to like put down 
um, five different lecterns, or I guess four different lecterns? I don't know, because what they're going to do is they're going to try to look for their workbench, and when their workbench, when they don't find one, I think they turn back into a brown coat if they're still a novice villager. I think. I could be so wrong about this, you guys. I'm so sorry. I didn't really do a lot of research beforehand, but I just wanted to experiment. That's kind of the fun of this game, is we can just have a good time, and we can experiment, and to do whatever we want to do um all right so let's go check it out oh we got a librarian in here sweet so it looks like he took up that lectern so we're gonna need to make a few more um but let's see what his trades are actually what if we got a mending right off the bat i would actually cry uh power one okay that's not that great hmm, i don't know the best way to do this should i make more lecterns or should i change his occupation again because I think what we can do is we can change their occupation, like, back and forth between the two, and they'll just... You know what? Let's try that. Let's give that a go first. Okay, he turned into a brown coat. So find this barrel and become a fisherman, please. Okay. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Not bad. So it's every time you lift it up and he... Oh, okay. This is, this is like hacky. Hold on. Okay, move. So if I put this back down, he'll turn back into a librarian with a different trade. Blast protection four. That's not bad, but we want mending. We're gonna go until we get mending. I don't even care how expensive he is. So now he's a brown coat again. Okay, what are you now? Oh gosh. Frostwalker two. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep doing this until we get mending. Efficiency three. All right, that's fine. I think you can get mending on the first one. I think I saw someone do it. Okay, emeralds, we don't really care about that. Now what are you? Aqua affinity, okay, that's pretty good. You, oh, this is so cheaty, oh my god. Projectile protection, two or three, I didn't really pay attention. I'm so hyped on this whole, <laughs> this whole mechanic is so broken. Respiration three again. All right. I wonder if there's like a limit to this. Like he'll just start cycling through ones he's already had. Channeling. Holy crap. You guys, that's only 13 emeralds in a book. That one's actually pretty dang good. Uh, that channeling trade was good, but I'd rather have mending. So that's what we're going to focus on. So what are you now? Don't run away. Bookshelf and some emeralds. All right, let's take this out. So please, please, please give us mending at some point. No, 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 no. This could take a while. Um, so I won't have you guys sit through this. But of course, I'll come back with you if we do happen to get one. So I'll see you guys soon. <gasps> you guys. It's a silk touch villager. It's not mending. But it is silk touch. Ugh. What do we do? Oh man, I'm just like, ugh, silk touch is such a good enchant to have like on hand too. And I mean, 20 emeralds, that's not that bad, especially if we set up a raid farm. I have to keep it, you guys. I have to keep the silk touch. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to move this guy. Well, no, wait, cause if I, oh crap. Oh, I didn't think about this. If I move the lectern, if I get rid of the lectern, he's going to become unemployed and lose his enchant. Alright guys, I'm going to figure this situation out and I'll be right back with you guys. And of course, I'll show you what my solution is. Alright guys, so check it out. We have a little baby in the village. So I just threw some weed at these guys. And I was running into a problem because I was like, none of these guys would change their occupation i was like what the heck is going on why aren't they changing their occupations and i think the conclusion that i've come to again i could be wrong about this i'm not an expert on this kind of thing i'm just trying to learn as i play and learn as i go and the basically the speculation that i make is that if a villager is has been traded with at any point they're pretty much going to keep with what their occupation is so even though he is a novice i've traded with him a lot so he doesn't want to change his occupation now again i could be wrong about that hey what's up guys it is editing nash here and i just wanted to come at you really quick with a little bit of information so as i was editing this video i wanted to fact check myself and see if i was right about my speculations on this game mechanic uh, that we're currently talking about 
and I actually was. I was right. So I looked on the Minecraft wiki and it says if a job site block is broken or destroyed, its owner becomes jobless but remains its profession if it if it has already been traded with or if it has been traded with. Yeah, so if a villager has already been traded with, if you've traded with them, whether they're a novice or not, they will re they will remain whatever profession they are. So if you do want to switch villagers' professions, don't trade with them at all. Don't trade with them. That'll give you the ability to switch their profession because once you trade with them, you can no longer do it. So something to keep in mind, something I'm definitely going to keep in mind, but I am going to leave you guys here. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> But from every test I did and just looking at my villagers here, I've traded with every single one of these guys. And I remember our villager over here, I hadn't, I don't think, yeah, I hadn't traded with because I just traded with him to get a silk touch book, um, which I actually put somewhere. I can't, I can't even remember where I put my silk touch book. I realized like once I traded with him, I was like, oh wait, maybe he changed occupations because I had never traded with him before so he was kind of free to do whatever he wanted now this might be obvious to some of you guys especially if you played around with this but i have not played around with this so it's very much a learning curve and like a learning game for me so i'm just learning as i go and it's been really fun to try and just experiment and see what happens what i did was i want to test this out with a baby now this baby's obviously going to grow up and he's not going to have a job and what we can do is we can either he'll find this lectern which he shouldn't because this guy works at this lectern so i have another one to put down and this will be our mending guy so this guy's got a lot of um he's got a lot to live up to i guess you could say he's he's gonna be our mending guy hopefully that is pretty epic now i'm gonna leave you guys until he grows up because it's probably going to take a while uh i'll probably just keep shuffling through his trades until he becomes a mending villager. I want to get a mending villager by the end of today's episode, so that's my goal. I'll be right back with you guys in just a sec, and we'll see if this little guy lives up to his legacy. my god you guys this is a 16 emerald in my eyes that's so good he's 16 emeralds mending are you freaking kidding me i cannot believe that we just got a mending villager i knew he had it in him we gotta name him i think i'm gonna name him maximilian mendonian or like something like that so i know he's like our mending villager so shook at the fact that we now have a mending villager and i know i'm like way too excited about this but i'm like <sighs> having a mending villager like i just need to get emeralds and then i can have mending whatever i want i added like a little time lapse for you guys but basically just shuffling through the different lecterns and like um getting rid of his occupation and then giving it back to him to until you get the right enchant that you want i have to admit it's kind of a cheating mechanic to be honest like it takes time you know it's not like first go you just get mending like that like it takes time um i want to trade with him so that he'll always stay a mending villager just same as our silk touch one and if you guys saw during the time lapse there was a point where i paused for a while i there was one with like uh what was it multi-shot and I was about, I was so close. What am I looking for? I'm like looking through these chests. I'm looking for something to trade with him. I think his other trade was like bookshelves or emeralds or something. Was it like emeralds for bookshelves? I think it was. Let's just go see. Okay, let's trade with this guy. We'll get one more emerald. And then I think if we do this, this should secure his trade. So now that he's, you know, got traded up a little bit. And of course... I think the higher you go, obviously, they won't want to change their occupation once you, like, get them past novice. I'm still unsure if, like, they can change even after you haven't traded with them, but I don't think they can. So, yeah. Man, my thoughts are all over the place. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just kind of, like, 
scatterbrained but excited i'm scatterbrained from my excitement if that makes sense Jeez, louise okay guys i am going to end this episode here thank you guys so much for watching this was such an exciting episode and i'm glad that i sat down and did this today and i hope that this kind of helped you guys if you're working with villagers 1.14 or you haven't yet and you want to then i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we, it looks like we are having a villager sleepover at this point in time so uh gotta love a good old villager sleepover but anyway i hope you guys all have a very beautiful wonderful day leave a like down below if you did like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button i really really appreciate you guys hanging out and watching my videos all the way through so if you made it to this point i just want to say an extra like genuine thank you so much for just sitting and watching through my videos it really means a lot but yeah i will catch you guys in the next video goodbye